In this video, I demonstrate how a student uses NDG's NetLab to do coursework in my CIS 175 class. The student begins by directing their browser to Cabrillo's NetLab server. I've created an account for a student called Hackleberry Finn. When the student logs in, they're taken to their greeting page. In order to use NetLab, you have to make a reservation. The reservation system prevents too many people from accessing the servers at once. HackFin is enrolled in my CIS 175 class and is reserving time for himself. CIS 175 is Cabrillo's introduction to computer security. For fall, I've selected to use version 2 of the CompTIA Security Plus labs. There are 20 labs in all. For this demonstration, we're going to go and start lab 1. The reservation screen shows the server's availability. A student can make a reservation for a time in the future, or if there's availability, they can get started right away. I'm going to make a reservation for right now. Okay, now my reservation is, is visible at the top of the screen. Let's start the lab. Lab startup times vary. For this lab, a number of virtual machines have to boot up and get ready. Here's our NetLab pod. The pod has six different virtual machines. Three run Microsoft Windows, four run Linux, and the firewall runs the BSD operating system. All of the Security Plus labs use the same pod. Throughout the semester, students perform different tasks, including infecting the machines labeled victim with malware. By clicking the Show Lab Content button, students pop up a window with the instructions for this lab. These labs are written with collaboration from the National Center for System Security and Information Assurance. The CSSIA provides students with real-world learning experiences in, the, in network security. The labs are professionally presented, introducing the task and the technologies used, and providing step-by-step -step instructions. I'm going to begin this lab by accessing the Windows 7 virtual machine. Here's the familiar Windows 7 login page. The credentials are provided for me by the lab instructions. And here's Windows Desktop. Now I'm going to go to the next step in the lab. The next step in the lab is going to have me access the packet sniffer. That machine is running a specialized version of Linux called Backtrack Linux. Backtrack Linux is a penetration testing tool. Since I'm here, I'm going to issue commands to print network packets to the screen. Then I'm going to go back to Windows and I'm going to try and make some network packets by starting up Firefox just to see if we can see them. Okay, let's Google something. Already in the background, you can see some packets whizzing by the packet sniffer machine. The pods are not connected to the internet, which limits the trouble that students can get into with this security pod. NetLab gives students access to virtual machines and networks any time of day or night from anywhere in the world. It gives instructors the ability to build and share pods with each other. It's no small thing to configure six operating systems and network them together. NetLab is cloud infrastructure for the classroom.